Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a what's for dinner. This one is a little weird because it's kind of more of like a recap of videos I've already put out. Um, so I'll have in the description box, like I'll have links to individual each video. Um, so we kind of had with Friday, the cookbook collab that took two of the recipes and then my crock pot video took two of, uh, two of the recipes. So that's four recipes in total for this video. So that's kind of how this what's for dinner is going. It's just kind of a recap. So if you're interested in any of the recipes that you see in this video, just look in the description box and there'll be links to individual videos to get the recipes. So I hope y'all still enjoy this what's for dinner. We are, I did have to cut this video a little short because we are um, going to be leaving Friday morning to, um, go camping so i wanted to go ahead and have this video up for you guys and have it scheduled so y'all will still have a video um today but we are currently camping um if y'all are watching this we are currently camping probably packing up and about to head home honestly because i post these videos at noon um so that's kind of what the game plan is next week should be back to normal normal schedule of meals and all that good stuff so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started So to start off, we had this pizza casserole. Y'all, this was so delicious. I shared this one in Friday's video, so y'all can click the link in the description box and check that out in case you missed it. Next is the creamy chicken skillet. Y'all, this one was also super delicious. I shared this in Friday's video as well. So like I said, I'll have that video listed in the description box below so y'all can check it out. Next, we had some super delicious crock pot Monterey Jack chicken. Y'all, this was so good. We also had some crock pot sweet carrots. I'll have my crock pot video from Wednesday linked down below in case y'all missed it. But y'all, it was so good. And that potato, scalloped potatoes was in Friday's video. So of course that's linked also. So we kept it simple this night and we just did a good old tacos. Just had taco meat, we had cheese, we had soft shells, some salsa, some chips. We had my salsa minute rice. I'll have that recipe listed down below for you guys. It is super delicious. We had our favorite cheese dip from Sam's Club and then just regular taco meat. And then I had some leftover pulled pork that I had pulled out of the freezer. And so I just added some taco seasoning to that and we could have either pork or beef tacos that night. Y'all. This crockpot monkey bread was so freaking delicious. <laughs> Y'all have to try this. This was in Wednesday's crockpot video. This recipe is a keeper and it is so good. Kept it super simple again. <laughs> and I had a rough day. And so Luke just decided to order some pizza, helped me out where I didn't have to cook dinner. But y'all, this was super delicious. We love Papa John's. We always get the cheese sticks. We get a Tuscan six cheese and we get a bacon and cheese all light sauce. Chicken wing, chicken wings, chicken legs. Clearly, those are chicken legs. We only got one chicken breast, lonely chicken breast. That's the last one we had. So we're just gonna cook this all together. Luke's got the grill going. He's got on um, 
wish to shy your sauce. What's <laughs> And then he's, I don't know what seasonings you're using. I don't think he knows. I was gonna do the sticky chicken with these, but I changed my mind. Uh, um, got ahead of myself on filming and whatnot, what videos needed to be done this week before we went camping. And so the sticky chicken didn't happen, so he's got the grill going and is gonna grill these, which I'm excited about that. Suckle Busters, Clucker Dust. So with the chicken uh, legs, we're gonna do um, some of the, like the smashed potatoes I've seen everybody making, they look so good. So I'm just gonna kind of boil these a little bit till they're like right at fork tender where I can take a glass and smash them on a sheet pan. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make some mac and cheese. So let's get the oven on. And get it ready for potatoes. So once my potatoes are done, I'm going to smash them. I'll show you all in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix together my butter mixture that I wanna put on them. So I'm gonna go add some minced garlic, some Italian seasoning, and then just a good sprinkle of the Parmesan cheese. And then you'll just like coat this on top of your potatoes before you put them in the oven. So once your potatoes are done, you're just going to put them on a baking pan and then you're going to give them a good smash. I used a mason jar and y'all, it worked perfect. And then I'm just going to take that butter mixture that I mixed together and I'm just going to coat those on top. And then I baked them at a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. They're going to get nice and crispy from the cheese and y'all, these are really good. The only thing I would change is I would add one that as soon as they come out of the oven give them a good salt and a good pepper and these are perfect we will definitely be making these again
and that is it y'all that is this what's for dinner video for this week it was a little different but don't forget that I'll have all the links in the description box below if you're interested in any of these recipes that have different videos. I still wanted to do a what's for dinner. I know how these are very popular. Um, so just don't forget that those links are always in the description box. Um, even though I didn't give a description in this video, still go check out the links and then y'all can get the exact recipes and whatnot on the other ones. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.